Hi, third and fourth grade friends. I'm happy to be here this morning. Today we've got some words that we're going to talk about. We're going to talk about another suffix today. So let's get started. Here we go. The suffix we're going to talk about today is ER. And ER means a person who blank, a person who does something, or it compares two things. Okay. So ER is a person who does something. So let's look at this first one. So a teacher, a teacher is a person who what? Well, it's a person who teaches. A dancer is a person who dances. Very good. Now over here on this one, nicer. This is when you're comparing two things. It's a person who is what? Nice. You're right. Or compare two things. The turtle is nicer than the bird. So it's comparing two things on that. Very good. So now I want you just to say the sound, and then I want you to say the words. We'll go down the columns today. Ready? Here we go. Sound. Word. Yes, taller. Sound. Word. Yes, helper. Sound. Word. Yes, runner. Sound. Word. Remember, ER means a person who does something. So in this case, ER would be a person who walks. Very good. Let's go to the next one. Sound. Word. Yes, dancer. Sound. Word. Yes, shorter. Sound. Word. Yes, longer. Sound. Word. Yes, faster. Sound. Word. Yes, slower. Now, these two, it could go both ways. A person who is fast or the turtle, no, not the turtle, the kangaroo is faster than the turtle. It's comparing the turtle to the kangaroo. And the same way with this one. The turtle is slower than the kangaroo. It's comparing two things, or it can be a person who's slow. All right, very good. Next, we're, next column, here we go. Sound, word, yes, nicer. Ooh, look at this one. What did I have to do? Because how do I spell happy? Ooh, I spell happy. H-A-P-P-Y. What did I have to do? I had to change that Y to an I and add E-R. Very good. Sound. Word. Yes, happier. Sound. Word. Yes, smarter. Sound. Word. Yes, smaller. Sound. Word, yes, funnier. Very good. So remember that the suffix goes on the end of the word. In this case, ER means a person who blank. Person who does something. Or it compares two things. Now today, my friend, my friends, your challenge is to come up with a story. Can you write a story and see how many words you can get in it that have ER at the end? And C, can you write a story? I'll write one and I'll post it for you later. All right, friends. Bye.